What are you doing? Making a note to myself about your mama being a lowly servant. I told you before, I am head housekeeper. Lowly servant to win a small points with the jury. Juries love cases where people like you are pitted against high and mighty huzzies like them. Any other juicy details we could use? Oh, I've got one. How about she was born a lying, two-timing tramp? Mother. Well, she was. I like it. Call her names like that in front of the jury. Jury be back with a verdict for us in five minutes. Oh, who the hell are you? Yeah, and, and where did you go to law school? University of the streets, ladies. But I can assure you everything's on the up and up. Now, you may not approve of my methods, but I can tell you, by the time I'm finished, you'll be wishing I was defending you. Tell me, Ivy, how do you think the jury is gonna feel when they discover that you tricked your poor deceased husband into believing this fine young man here was his biological son when all along you knew he was nothing more but your love child from another man? And you, may I call you Becky? You most certainly may not. Becky, you got the morals of an alley cat. Dumping one rich old goat just so you can marry another. We'll have the jury on the edge of that rock hard seats drooling. Some more details of the rich and infamous. But I, I wish all my cases were this easy. Mm -hmm. I truly do. Go away, I am. Mother! I'll take care of this. No, I'm not gonna stand here and let this fly-by-night ambulance chaser just call me names and try to ruin my reputation. Mother. No, Gwen, please. This is a miscarriage of justice, and I am gonna see you disbarred. On what grounds? I have every right to pursue any and all legal means at my disposal in the defense of my client. As I'm sure young Ethan here will attest to, this is all most proper and legal. The very epitome of justice at its finest, which thereby reinforces the supreme legality of the ever fair scales of justice. Don't you agree, young man? What you just said doesn't make any sense. You weren't listening, Sonny. You're gonna have to work on that if you ever want to practice law in this town. Who are you, anyway? Like I said, I am Mrs. Julian Crane's attorney. I am Mrs. Julian, Mrs. Julian Crane! Well, perhaps I should have qualified my statement. I represent the one and only Bonafide, real, very cetaceous, Mrs. Julian Crane. Formerly known as Teresa Lopez hyphen Fitzgerald. You two are merely poses, imposters, frauds, phony! All right. Just so you know what you're going to be up against in court. <laughs> I intend to make sure these two women never enjoy the benefits of the Crane name ever again. If necessary, I'll bring charges against them for the attempted theft of my client's rightful name. Attempted theft. I wish I had thought of that earlier. Oh, how I love this case, I truly do. 